one of my first and earliest mentors, uh, he pulled me aside and he said, Jeffrey, you are going to be 100% responsible for your life. Now I'm 18 years old, 18 and angry, and I'm like, how the hell am I supposed to, do? what the, the hell does that mean? What do you, <sighs> so I had to give myself that moment of pause and reflection to go, what the hell did he mean? I'm responsible for what goes on in my life 100%. I'm, respons I'm, resp I'm responsible, I'm responsible. Shit. Still couldn't, still couldn't get it. Still trying to figure it out. Again, 18 years old, you know, because there's that point between 16 and 18 where we think we know everything. Well, I was at that point where I just didn't know shit. I knew I didn't know shit. <laughs> and what I did know uh, was not working very well. And so I'm responsible 100% for my life. And then he gives me a book on philosophy. Probably Zen, something like that. I was just, again, studying that stuff because... Uh, 18 years old, mad at the world, anger in my heart, anger in my mind. I'm trying to sort this shit out, using martial arts as a way to get through that and, you know, and just to express myself that way. But then I went, oh, finally, in my moment of shutting up, I had to shut up internally because when I was battling the, with the term of I'm responsible for my life 100%, all of this stuff was coming up. No, you're not because of this. No, you're not because of this. All blame, shame. It's everybody else's fault but mine. That's it's, right. it's everybody else's fault but mine. It's not me. This is totally everyone else. This is not me because my life is totally unique. No one has gone through what I've gone through. It is, you know. Once I shut up and I went, okay, I get it. It's not what happens to my life. It's how I respond to what happens in my life. 